Okay. okay, we're live on Donut Addiction. Yeah. <laughs> we're live on Donut. Okay. Don't, well, you know, I do, you know, don't, well, Donut Addiction, I'd say that's partly as a joke. Sugar, sugar addict probably is more, more the thing, but, um, oh. and food addict as well. But uh, I did go to the 12-step 12, uh, 12 group. There are many 12-step groups. Uh, I won't say the one. We can find them out. You know, you just type in things like overeaters or whatever, food, food addict or whatever. You'll find them. And um, so that's a, probably a good place. Look, um, uh, on a simple, just from this video, apart from joining a 12-step group, having a craving for something is an energy. Yeah. And if you sit, you got to, like, when you crave something, you got to sit, you got to sit out that energy. <clears throat> So if I have like a craving for sugar or a donut, first thing to do is, uh, you know, I, I would take a seat and just close your eyes and just feel that, that craving energy and just sit with that craving energy. And you, what you're trying to do is not repress it or, or push it away or um, is just to fully 100% welcome it and welcome it at max. Now you're... you're this is the thing that's a problem in the early days, is you think, you want to make pictures, you want to have thoughts and make a story of like, oh, I'm going to, I know where I'm going to go after this place, you know, it's like, you've got to like cut, you've got to cut those thoughts, you've got to disidentify with those thoughts. So it's like, okay, you, say you've got an intense craving, right, you've got an intense, well, it doesn't matter whether it's for a donut, whether it's for a woman or a man or whatever it is, or for, for you know, so feel the feeling, let the feeling come up. Uh, have your, if you can, have your spine straight, and then the thoughts are relentlessly going to come in. You know, the thoughts, oh, I'd like to call this person or go to the supermarket. So just disidentify from those thoughts and just be with the feeling. And then immediately another thought's going to come or another image is going to come. Just disidentify from that thought or that, 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 that thought or that image and just welcome the feeling. So what you're doing is you're welcoming up this energy without trying to run away from it. And um, you want to sit, sit with food. So let's do this now as, as a group, and I'll sort of guide you. So if there's any kind of feeling or sensation, any, any sort of tightness in the body, any craving for sugar, any craving for, um, uh, for uh, speaking to uh, uh, a bad person who's not good for you, or a romantic individual who's not good for you, just welcome any sensations or vibrations or energies just let them fully come up and as soon as your head goes into a thought detach detach immediately from that thought and just be with the feeling uh, be with the energy be with the vibration and fully welcome it so you're welcoming it up so it can dissipate you're welcoming it up so that the energy can start to deflate out from it and you're doing this thing which is amazing which is you're not be, you're not trying to repress or suppress the energy also, remember that whenever you go into a thought or an image, you are, you are resisting or distracting. So again, as soon as you go into an image or a thought, just detach, uh, disidentify with that thought and just welcome, just allow whatever it is right now to be experienced and just welcome it. Just welcome it. And you're, by doing this, you're developing uh, one of the most um, powerful methods of letting, releasing the ego and releasing the bondage of addiction. We're releasing two things, the bondage of this craving energy for something, or these sensations being held within, and also the addiction to being in your thoughts, so that you're not a slave to your thoughts, taking you off and into unwanted behaviors or actions, or into um, pointless fantasies. Just dis disidentify and feel, welcome. And keep doing this. If you go into a thought, disidentify and just allow any energies. And as you allow them, they'll start to dissipate. Or if these energies get more intense, if the energy of the craving comes more intense, just yes, let it come. Even if you're afraid it'll kill you, just allow it to fully come up and, uh, and you'll find that uh, it'll start to dissipate after a while and you'll, you'll jump up in your level of consciousness. So this is what you do. Now, with the cravings, cravings usually, even a big craving, I mean, on average, it's not, it's not a hard and fast rule, it's 15 to 20 minutes. Um, so, like, you've got, you've got an intense craving to, to act out with some form of addiction. Just sit and just welcome. And 15 to 20 minutes might seem like a long time, it is actually, but 
let the thoughts go, let the images go. And at a certain point, as you're welcoming this energy, don't go into the thoughts or images, just distract. Welcome, keep welcoming it, pulling it up. At a certain point, it will start to taper off and it'll start to get less intense. And when you've done that, you have, you have grown spiritually enormously. Each time you do that, just feel the craving in its intensity until it dissipates and it starts to pass. You'll start to break the chains of bondage. It's one of the most powerful ways of um, letting go. So I'd like anyone who's got a... Uh, I'm going to uh, go off into a different topic recently, but if you've got a craving, just welcome it. Welcome it and maybe disengage from what I'm saying because I'd just like to, to make another video.